Hi everyone, in today's video I want to give you a quick update on the Choco4 model manager for Blender 2.80. Choco4 model manager is a free Blender add-on that helps you in importing external assets to your 3D scenes. We've created the add-on to make our Choco4 models library more accessible and organized, but you can also create your own asset libraries and freely use them with the add-on. The add-on had been already updated for Blender 2.80, however, due to our site redesign, we are not able to post it yet. And that's why I wanted to release this follow-up video so you know where to download the latest version, how to set up your own library, and how to get things going. So without a further ado, let's now jump into it. To download the add, then you have to go to the store.chocofer.com and here within the model manager tab, well, disappointment, we have the older version of the add then together with the introduction video. So to get the latest version, you have to log in to your Chocofer store account and within the dashboard, you have to navigate to March 2019. Here, the only file we have uploaded that month is the model manager for the interior visualization course. However, you can also download it even if you don't have the course purchased. Let's now jump into Blender. In order to install the add-on, we simply go to the edit and preferences. Within the newly appeared window, we click install. And now we have to find the zip file we have just downloaded, click install again, and that's basically it. Let's just check this box here. And the first thing I suggest doing after installing the add-on is checking if there are any updates. As you can see, there are some, so let's keep it as the latest version. And once we close the window, you can have access to the add-on by pressing the N key within the 3D viewport and choosing it from the list here. So you can see we have to restart Blender to complete the update. Let's now do that and set up the asset library. The add-on is now set up and running as you can see here. And let's now create the library. I suggest just making a folder somewhere where you want to keep all of your models. Uh, it can be also a network path, by the way, so other user users can also share the same uh, models. Now we have to go back to the preferences once more and within the add-in search bar here, let's just type Choco, choose the Choco for model manager, and by clicking this folder icon here, we can point to the library. Now you also have to save the preferences here in order to keep this path after you restart Blender. So to do that, there is this tiny little icon here. Let's just click it and let's save current state. So once we do that, now after restarting Blender, this path will be set up all the time. Once we have the library directory path selected, we can now establish the file structure. We can also access the library from this button here. And the best way I think to establish the correct file structure would be going back to the Chocofor store and downloading some of the free assets we have here. So you can see within the free assets section, there is this accessories, details and furniture bundles available. What I suggest is downloading all of them to your library folder and unzipping them. Let's start with unzipping the accessories. So I'm selecting the extract here option and there is a new folder appearing in our library. When we go back to Blender and hide and unhide the Choco for Model Manager, you can see almost an instant update within uh, the add-in. So this accessory step here corresponds directly to the folder we have here. Now let's hold on for a moment and see how this file structure works. So as I mentioned, we have the main category here tab, which is represented by this folder. Once we get into it, we can see the subcategory folders and these can be accessed by pressing this button here. So let's say we want to select the work subcategory by clicking on the rendering, we can choose 
different models. And these models are also nested into this folder. So the file structure is we have the blend files, we have the renders folder with the images corresponding to the files, we also have the maps folder with all of the textures, and we also have the OBJ folder which is not represented in the add-in, but here you can have access to the OBJ files if you want to use our models in the other applications. Now I have unzipped all of the other models and in order to keep the library clean I've deleted the zip files because sometimes they might cause some problems within the manager. So try to keep the folders here only. Also if you don't see the instant update of the categories just restart Blender and it should work fine. So how can we now add models to the scene? Well that's actually very simple. You just choose the model and click this button here. What's a very cool thing uh, in my opinion about this model manager is that you can also place the models at 3D cursor. So for example, if we add a table to the scene and we would like to place something on top of it, I'm just switching to the 3D cursor here, placing it on top of the table. And let's say we wanna place this flower on top. Here within the Choco for model manager settings, let's just switch to the cursor click the add details button and that's basically it. So as you can already see the add-on allows you to very quickly import the external 3D assets to the scene and populate them very quickly. Right now I would like to show you how you can also add your own 3D models to the manager, to the library, how to establish, I mean how to work with the files correctly so everything works and I'm gonna use Chocofur shaders for that. So what you want to do is going back to the Choco for store again and within the free assets category we also have some free shaders. For this tutorial I'm going to download the metal shader pack and one of the free single Choco for shaders. I will now unzip the metal shaders and the way they behave is basically the same as the model packs so we will have the main materials category established and then there is this metal subcategory with all of the shaders inside. Now what you can see will happen if we unzip the single model like this. It will create all of those extra folders which we should normally have only on this level, so within the subcategory. And to fix that, let's go to the materials category, let's create subcategory, and now let's move the unzipped files to this subcategory. So I'm gonna select the maps, renders, and blend file, and paste them here. So let's now see how those things work within the model manager. As you can see, we already have the materials category created and here we can already see the concrete subcategory which we have added manually to the library. And there is this single shader we have pasted, also the metal category we have downloaded as bundle. So the general rule for adding your own assets to our Choco for Model Manager is to have a blend file within the subcategory, within the category, within the library. I know it might sound complicated, but let's go uh, that way again. So library, main categories, subcategories, and here you're placing your blend files. Now, your blend file name, so this is what I have highlighted right now, Chuck for Concrete Solid 01, has to be exactly the same as the render name within the render folder. This way Blender can correlate the JPEG images you can have here with the blend files in the library. And you always have to use the JPEG file, unfortunately that's the way the add-on is created. So again, the name of the render file within the render folder has to be exactly the same as the name of the blend file. The maps, uh, there aren't any rules here, so you can keep them or name them as you want, as long as they are linked to the blend files. I'm gonna very quickly repeat the entire process with the free Choco for car models. 
So let's go to the free cars category and here you can download one of the models. Let's do this very quickly. And now within the library, let's create the vehicles folder. Now let's create the cars subcategory. And now let's move the zip file to the subcategory and extract it here. Let's delete the zip file. And once we get back to Blender, you can see the instant update within the library where we have the vehicles category, car subcategory and our model available. So once we click add vehicles, it will be pasted to our scene together with the empty object, which allows us to move the car around. By the way, it's also rigged with the wheels. So they rotate if we move it forwards and backwards. So that's it for this video. I really hope it was informative and that you will find our little add-on useful in your daily work. Check out the Choco4 store to download the add-on for free and you can also support the channel by purchasing any of our commercial assets. As always, remember to support Blender by donating to Blender Foundation even a single time. It always helps the developers. And that will be it for now. Thanks for watching and see you in another Chocofer video. Bye bye.